Hi there, it's Anthony from Evolution Series. In this video, I'm going to take you on a deep dive through a number of inspiring textural-based Chinese colour instruments. These instruments are truly something special. We've really captured a lot of wonderful, raw human performances that you often don't hear with a lot of traditional sample libraries out there on the market. It really adds some life and beauty to your music that often is very, very hard to reproduce in the sampling domain. But on that note, let's have a little look and check out these sounds. So the first one up is the Urhu. And as you can see here, we've got three different boxes. Within each box, you can load a different articulation. So currently we have Swell Vibrato, Sustain Color 1, and Sustain Color 2. We're using Velocity to jump between each articulation, but if you want to change that to say Mod Wheel or any other MIDI CC, you can do that too. So it's, pretty, uh, it's a pretty nice way of working between different textural articulations. So let's have a little listen and have a play. So that's just a very basic uh, swell vibrato. But then if we play a little harder, you get another different type of uh, sustain. So that's kind of like a random bowing sort of sustain. And then if I play even harder than that, and that's kind of like a, a random twitch uh, trill, which is also a lovely way of adding a bit of texture to the note. And the cool thing is now, hearing each thing individually, when you start playing, you can kind of add bits and pieces of these different articulations and it can sound quite lovely. Which is very cool. Now you can also turn on legato. This is a fake uh, scripted legato, so it's not a real legato in, in the sense of capturing in between samples and stitching, to them, stitching them together in software. This is just using uh, a script to make up that transition. It's more of a bonus feature. The point of this library is not really about legato, but in some situations it actually can sound quite cool. And I think in this situation it can sound quite useful. I mean, it's not perfect, but it really can be quite helpful in situations when you're needing more of a lead line, but blended in with some other sounds, and it, you really uh, can't tell the difference once it's blended and all mixed in. But the key point of the, the magic is, is more about the textures. So we'll have a wee listen to what else there is. Um, and this one, it's a variation of the first one, but except we have the bend down. Yeah, 
so that's quite a handy wee technique to have in there. So a swelling tremolo. This one's got a bend up and a bend down with a swelling vibrato. Another little technique. And some shorts seems here. Pits. Some effects. So they're a bit of fun. And here we've made up some little textural combinations which are combining a, a couple of different sustains together and panning them out and it, you can create these interesting um, pad-like textures. It's quite fun. another combination. Third textural combination. and a little shorts combination. And that is our little Urhu. Moving on to our next instrument. So this one's the Ditsi. Let's have a listen. So there's some nice random swells and vibrato going on in these ones. They really capture some wonderful life. In this situation, if I turn on legato, you can have a little listen to what it's doing.
So, you know, it really does sound quite, quite nice for a fake legato. It sounds great, but as usual, I really want to focus on the textures. So we'll turn that off for now. So moving on through it. This one here, we've got uh, Swell with Random Runs. They're pretty cool. And then we've got some Random Trill. So you can already imagine how you can create these beautiful textures, you know, you could jump from a random trill into a random run and it becomes quite, quite lovely and lively. So uh, moving on, we've got swell, random trill, long. And the interesting thing here is that the approach that we took is instead of just capturing a continual random trill that went da 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 and just at the one volume, we really wanted to add swelling and in and out and even the speed of the trill, it can just vary a little bit. It's not about trying to get everything robotically perfect. And a live performance, it's changing and flowing and there's a human quality and that's the number one thing we really are trying to do here is capture that human quality. Moving on. So we've got some short trills. Some lovely bending. Here we've got some more traditional sustains. If we turn on legato. Quite cool, actually. On to the next one, Flutter. Very cool. More bending. Some slower bends. And here are the faster bends. Some short runs. And some of these are using uh, you know, same articulations that I've used in previous ones that I've showed you, but it's different concoctions of blending them together. That's it's quite handy when playing. So you might want to jump from a shorts run to a random trill and you create these interesting live, lively performances. And here are some shorts.
Body hits. And some effects. They're cool. And onto some textural combinations. Second textual combination. And the third one. Fourth one. Fifth one here. Trill combination. Shorts. And another shorts combination. And there's that one. So let's have a look at our next instrument. Here we have the bawu, another wind instrument. So we'll have a listen to some of these in isolation. So the Gliss Random. So as you can see what's happening there, we've got a little bit of vibrato, a bit of swelling in the sustain, um, and we've got these little Gliss kind of random bits popping in and out of that note, and it really is quite lively. And then ornament two. And then we have a uh, swell, a short vibrato swell. So the magic starts happening when you start playing between these different articulations as usual.
And just to have a little look at the legato. So a handy little feature. I'll keep moving through some of these. Uh, so this one is more just about the swells. We have some short swells and long swells. Some swells with bending down fast. So lots of life in there. Some trills. Another combination here. I really like the random swell articulation. There's a, uh, it's quite lively and very effective when blending it in to your composition. Some shorts. Uh, some slow bends. And fast bends. Some sustaining shorts. Bend Dark Random. Good for some spooky scene. And here is a Flutter Dark Random. for even spookier scenes than the previous spooky scene. Ornament one, three and four. That was ornament one. And ornament four. They're cool for adding a little bit of lively performance within your bit of music. These are more just kind of taps, I think.
and onto some combinations. The basic swell combination and one with vibrato. Trill combination. And ooh, a textural combination. the randomness of that how you can hear little flickers of different techniques moving between the, you know between speakers textural combination two combination three Textural combination four. And there is our little bow. So on to our next one. This one here is a beautiful instrument, the Duquin. So let's have a wee listen. The interesting thing with this one is that there are actually quite a few different ways you can do vibrato. There's slower vibratos, there are faster vibratos. Uh, in this case we sampled a variety of different vibratos and it's really quite cool because you can jump from a slower vibrato to a faster vibrato to a no vibrato and then you can kind of build up these quite lively realistic performances. And this was a basic sort of um, one here with a non-vibrato nail sustain, so you're playing with the nail, fingernail, and then you've got two types of vibratos here, vibrato one and vibrato three, and so by jumping between all three of these articulations you can create some cool stuff. If I click on here you can kind of get an idea on all the different types of sounds. You've got, you know, flesh sustain, three different types of vibratos, flams and fourths and fifths and octaves and slaps and taps, harmonics, and the list goes on. There's a lot, a lot of really cool stuff. So let's keep moving on through. So similar to the previous one except we're using, we've got a vibrato 2 and vibrato 3 whereas the previous one was vibrato 1 and 3. So it's just another vibe. So that's kind of a boing, boing, boing kind of thing, which is cool. And here we have flams. Yeah, I love those ones. Sustain played with the fleshy part of your finger, so not the nail. So 
it's a bit more of a mellow vibe. Some slides up and down. Yeah, there's just, it's amazing how low this instrument goes. There's a certain, it's almost like a, feels to me like a double bass, even though it's, yeah, it's, it's not, but it, there's just something rich and deep and beautiful about those, that lower range. It's absolutely terrific. Here we go, we've got some faster slides. And slower slides with vibrato. And then faster slides with vibrato. We've got a slide or dramatic slide up and down. I mean, all that stuff is wonderful because otherwise it's, it's very, very difficult to reproduce that type of technique through traditional sampling. But because the key purpose of these color instruments are to capture lively performances, but make them somehow playable in a creative sense, it really is terrific. I mean, honestly, it's so been so useful for me as a composer. A legato style technique. So that's going up. Another handy little one. Some harmonics. Something quite delicate and beautiful about those. So we've got sustain, fourth and fifth. So this is the fourth. And the fifth. And octaves. Sustain slap. Tap. It's a lot of fun, that one. And a bunch of random techniques. Lots of treasures in there. Body hits. And some textural combinations.
another one here. There is our Ju Quin. So on to our next instrument. And here we have the pipa, a beautiful stringed instrument. Obviously you can hear a lot of reverb going on there. This can easily be rectified by bringing that down to nothing. But I do like a bit of verb. Keep listening. Some different speed vibratos there. That's similar to the Juquin where you can combine a non vibrato sustain with different vibrato sustains and you can create a lovely, lively performance. Here are some different techniques. That's a very useful one, that one there. So this one here is sustained drama, great for dramatic moments. We're actually combining two different type of techniques here. One's just a straight sustain dramatic and another one incorporates the bending technique into it. So by jumping between the two you can create these really interesting textures. Bend up and down. So fast one and a slow one. Semitone bends. Tone bends. Opera steps. Lots of life in there. So tremolo sustain with a bend down.
And we have the that again, but with a bend up. And harmonics. A motif. And some other motifs here. These are more random. Oh, there's a ton of different little ones there. It's great. They'll be uh, very handy for many different situations, especially if you're scoring some sort of interesting Chinese-themed TV show or if that's what you're up to. So lots of great little things there. Very, very handy. More motifs. Some other little strummy ones, body hits. They're cool. And combinations. combination. Nice and spooky. And on to our last Chinese color instrument. And this little one is the sauna. It's a really interesting reed instrument. It's a smaller one compared to the other ones, but there are some lovely textural articulations here. So let's have a listen. So com combining 
some random trills and random swells that really brings a lot of life into the performance. And some more sustains with vibrato and non-vibrato. Some bends. And the fast ones. Dramatic sustains. Flutter. Shorts. So these ones here, we've taken the sustain articulation and put one round robin to the left and one round robin to the right. So you're getting two different performances, but kind of stereofied, I suppose. So let's have a wee listen. And another variation. So a stereified trill. And a dramatic sustain. Some slow bends. Fast bends, stereified. Flutter and stereo. Shorts. And textural combination one.
And what's really cool, you can just hear all that natural swelling from the musician and it just makes it so lively. Another combination. And here we're taking three different things there, two textural combinations and a stereified trill. And a bunch of random things. Almost sounds like a seagull there. There's a whole heap of those things. Well, that's all our lovely little coloured Chinese instruments. I hope you've enjoyed the playthrough. So stay tuned until next time. Keep safe. Cheers. <laughs>